I have this beautiful Solomon Island ground boa named Ruby behind me, and she's either gonna give birth or she's not. And either way, it'll be totally natural. We're gonna talk about why and also which way I'm leaning. Solomon Islands ground boa and she was sold to my friend as gravid meaning carrying babies inside right snakes don't really get pregnant they get gravid now the problem with that is she's an import and the importing process is a lot of stress for any snake and she actually holds up pretty well she's super calm super docile Billy or blue-eyed leucistic ball python is a super calm relaxed snake but I think Ruby really puts it to a new level. Ruby doesn't care what you do to her. She's a huge individual for the species. Four foot is a pretty darn big Solomon Island ground bow, and that's right about where Ruby is. But so a couple things might have gone wrong with this gravidcy, pregnancy. We'll just say pregnancy. Number one, like I said, the stress of the importing process itself, right? These animals, any animal that's imported or wild caught gets super dehydrated, super stressed out during the whole process, and that can definitely interfere with a snake's pregnancy. Especially this species, the Solomon Islands stay very humid all the time, so really any dip in that humidity for any amount of time it might lead to some dehydration, which makes it hard for the snake to develop those babies. So mama snakes can do this pretty cool thing when they're gravid, but they're undergoing a lot of stress or not proper conditions and they can just kind of reabsorb those babies and take those nutrients back in for themselves and at the end of the day not end up giving birth. Another issue is nutrition wise is a mama snake while she's growing some baby snakes really needs a lot of a lot of fats, a lot of calcium, things like that. Boas don't lay eggs, but uh they definitely need a lot of calcium to develop those skeletons for their little babies that they're going to pop out. I know that my friend was having difficulties getting her to eat rats because these, or any kind of food really, because these guys are lizard eaters in the wild. They'll eat things like little anoles and things like that. So rats to begin with is a new food item for her and, and that's what we have for our snakes for the time being. Also being wild caught, she wasn't eating anything frozen thawed, right? Lizard, rat, whatever it is. So that was a new step for her too. But luckily uh, dialing in those temperatures, keeping everything really controlled, she started taking frozen thawed rats, which is just awesome. And she's looking for one right now because we have the cup right next to me. We don't want her to eat me, so. And finally, a big issue that I was really concerned about. So you don't want to handle a pregnant snake too much, right? Because you might hurt, especially Boa's giving live birth. You might hurt those babies. You might stress her out a, a fair bit. But Ruby came to us with mites. And that was something I definitely wanted to take care of because even if we ended up doing everything right and she's doing good, but she's just got these little blood sucking little vampires all over, uh, that could cause a problem for her. Not to mention, say she did give birth while still infested with mites. Now all those little tiny babies, these babies come out so small, like little earthworms, a thousand mites on a little baby that could have probably, probably could have killed it on its own. So we definitely wanted to take care of that. So we did our mite treatment. We have a video about how we treat for mites and everything went well. She ended up getting rid of those mites and we had her on paper towel during that time because obviously on coconut husk and coconut core like this, uh, the mites would thrive in there. You know what I mean? And we wouldn't be able to see them at all because they look a lot like coconut core. So we were finally able to get rid of all those mites. Uh, we haven't done any recreational handling with her, and we got her on this nice substrate that'll hold that humidity that she needs, and so we're just hoping for the best now. As far as what I'm thinking, will she give birth, or will she not give birth? To birth, or not to birth? That is the question. I think she will, because she's been pounding food, uh, she's still looking pretty thick in the middle, uh, less thick than when we first got her, but I think that's because she had a lot of poop in there. And she's been letting it out now a little more often, which is another reason I think that she might give birth. Because, you know, boas have super slow metabolism, so they're not going to be pooping left and right. You know what I mean? And uh, she's been kind of pooping a lot. Actually, mostly urate, too. So not poop. So it seems like a lot of that food is getting 
used in one way or another, right? Whether it's just for her or for her and some babies. But uh, this constant urating and whatnot, I think that there's not a whole lot of room for her to hold on to that. So she wants to do what she can to get rid of that. That's good news as far as babies go. Look, I'm cool either way. If she doesn't give birth, that's fine as long as she's healthy and doesn't die a slow, tragic death. But I do think she will give birth. And another reason is that when we feed her, she doesn't really wrap the food. And boas are, you know, boas are straight up constrictors. It's as constrictor as you can get. They definitely want to wrap their food up to kill it. And she just kind of grabs on and slowly wraps the, the food item with the first third of her body. So that kind of tells me that she's got a little something going on down there, the lower third, that she doesn't want to disrupt even while eating. So, with all that said, I love this snake so much, we'll see if she'll take another wrap for us. over here. Uh, our dishwasher was actually on when we were just getting that last little bit of water to finish heating up these rodents and so it got a little too hot and that's why it popped open uh if it was way too hot it probably would have like completely exploded as opposed to like just kind of one little hole there and also she wouldn't have eaten it if it was too too hot so it should be fine now little little special bonus we're gonna feed stevie the little corn snake Little corn snake gets a little tiny mouse, so...
fed and she's looking for more, but uh, that's it for this week for her. So just to recap, uh, Ruby's still doing really good, even though all that stress that she went through during this pregnancy, but we are going to be expecting little baby Rubies in the future, so look out for that. If you want to stay tuned for that, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss a post. Other than that, what beats, you know, like 1030 at night, you're just hanging out with snakes, watching them kill, well, they're already dead. But anyway, eat little, little food items and stuff like that. So fun. Look, she's looking for more. She's going crazy. She's climbing. She's cruising. But that's going to do it for today's video. So once again, I'm Raph. This is Stevie. You've been watching Red Ribbon Reptiles, and we'll see you next time.